It's it's quite a winter wonderland, I guess, with all the snow. But it's still a nightmare. I really wish, though, when you switch away... I know the game's not designed for it, but with the mod, I, I wanted to see if I could switch... With a mod, sorry. I, I wanted to see if I could just switch away to the other seasons. Because if, if anyone actually remembers the beginning of the series, this was a tropical area. Which, admittedly, wouldn't have any snow at all. <laughs> At this, at, in, in no time of the year. But for fuck's sake, I wanted to try out the new Snowfall DLC. And um, I wanted to do kind of a funny thing. Like every every session or so, I'd switch to a different season or a different biome. And the problem is every time I switched off of the snow, it would flat out remove all of the, uh, all of the, uh, what'd you call it? The snow. Here it is. The snow dump. And I think it even removes the heating. I don't remember. I don't. That was literally about two months ago, three months ago that I did it. But it removes stuff and it's just kind of confusing because next thing you know, we got these empty patches of land everywhere and you don't know. And you just fill it with shit. And then when you try to switch back to the season, unless you've taken an actual physical note or a mental note or written down a goddamn notepad or text pad, whatever, you're not going to know where to replace the damn snow things and sometimes you might even accidentally put something actually important in there so it would be nice but it doesn't avoid the fact that it's a pain in the ass oh they built fast they really want this speaking of which how is my heating my heating's all the way to the edges sweet uh, park. Parake. Whew. This is, um, still quite the adventure. God, given the age of the actual city, I'm just glad that, you know, maintenance isn't as big. Like, it's not so much in the simulation in the sense that we have to worry about actual maintenance. Um, because, you know, I'm, if it was any anything even remotely, uh, emulating the ailing state of American infrastructure, it would be quite an abysmal game. <laughs> I mean, quite seriously, there's just so much, there would be so much to fix in so little time. That is just not reasonable at all. Um, we'll put high density along the strip like we always do, low density over there, then we'll put houses as a back spine, and then it would be able to support them. Speaking of which, I keep for, I keep glazing over parks because I I've been sitting here thinking about putting parks down because like if I don't keep on that, everyone's gonna just be un, be unhappy bitches. Although hilariously enough, my approval rating is still pretty good. Um, here, where's my global rating? Global happiness. It doesn't tell me. I know I know there's a way to find out. I just at at the current moment, I'm not too bothered by it. There's that, and there's that. Maybe I should just not have the parks within sight of the main street, because they seem they seem like they would look better a little bit farther in. Um, let's see. Okay, so we were doing regular parks along this slot up until, um, yeah, up until we did the weird layout. So we have that. Shit, I could just put a plaza right there instead of these things. Yeah, at this point, I'm just becoming completely arbitrary with where I put the parks, though. There used to be a system. Now I don't give a shit. Wow, there's a really high concentration. Mostly because of these tiny little shit parks. I like how Pino Colada, though, mostly happy. As a city, mostly happy. I mean, it's 40 cents per tile. Or sorry, not per tile. If a cubic meter was an, was an actual square of a tile, this house wouldn't even be six cubic meters. <laughs> That'd be one hell of a house. Got some refets and shit. So, Belmont Hills. This is 41 cents. Not bad. Bermuda, 47. It's been around longer. 57. Holy shit. 42, 25, 14, 
53. Wow. Arcade Land still holds the top. 35, 39, and 40. So, yeah. Arcade Land holds the top in land value. Not entirely sure why, because there's it's A, not a big land mass, and B, it's just... It's just got a small strategic place parks. I mean, it might be covered by service as well, but I, I, I'm not entirely sure if that's indicative of a really, really great property value. But then again, the game does calculate that shit a little weird. Um, throw down. All right, so overall, what is the demand? Hi, uh, let's, let's go back to... Medicine. Medicine's good. Let's go to fire. Yes, as uh, as guesstimated, I'm going to need one here. You need one in this corner. Then potentially one in this corner. Which, you know, I'm all for. Then the police, which still is not something that's painfully necessary. Okay, so... Anchor District still has no schools, right? It has one high school and no elementary. Why is there a high school? It's dawning on me that there is a high school in a place that's not meant to support education. Because the rate I'm going, there's not going to be anyone that actually, you know, um, works over there at Ouroboros. But I guess, I guess the goal is not to give exceedingly good education, I guess. I could still give them education, just not really good amounts of it. So here, let, let's just do a small experiment. I will give them a school or two. We'll see how that turns out. If if the economics totally don't support it, like Oboros Square just starts collapsing like it is now, um, yeah, that's going to be a, quite the trying time. And this is also pretty bad. Uh, I, I don't know what to make of it. It's like March of the Penguins. It's it's confusing to look at. And it doesn't appear to be any reasonable oversight. And no one seems to be controlling them. It's just a bunch of freaking whacked out monkeys. I mean, they say you can stick a thousand monkeys in a room. They'll eventually make Shakespeare. But, you know, I don't even think they can even pile a ship if you got enough monkeys on there. I also like the L O D the LOD, the level of detail. Far away, there's snow on the bridge. Close close up. I almost said close away. Close up, there's jack shit. Those snow piles are really on the ball. Oh look at that. Commercial demand. You literally just showed up. Uh that's here, let's start splitting. Here we go. At this rate, I'm going to start going back to the, the 33 section. Like, try to reform back to the old ways of yesteryear. I mean, there is no great progress without a little bit of regress. I don't know who said that. I don't even think that's a thing. It sounds pretty terrible, but, you know. That's like saying we can't... We can't reach um what is it we can't reach a socio-economical high without bringing back racism it's like that's that doesn't that's not right <laughs> so uh, segregation there you go apartheid because that was so great nelson mandela you are the man the thing is though i don't know how the the separation in the center here is going to do for the 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 layout actually it should do fine because yeah for the most part it was doing it here so from here to here is going to be the same distance from here to here okay so everything is for the most part going to be all right fingers crossed though so let's do where is it 31 32 33 god damn it now, the real question is, am I going to continue commercial all the way down, or am I going to stop it? I have no idea. Like, I literally have no idea. But for now, I do know that it will continue in this direction. So we can just 
I like how it says 90 degrees. That was not a 90 degree uh, connection. 90 degrees in respect to what? Damn, damn overcomplicated protractor. Whoops. That's definitely my bad. Commercial just keeps growing. How much you want to bet that... I'm not the only one. Or I'm confident I'm not the only one. It's like, they want a lot of commercial. Then you give them the commercial, then it turns out to be shit. Which probably has more or less to do with how you lay it out and present your commercial more than anything else. Like, look at this. This is abandoned. Why was it abandoned? Or, it stopped being abandoned. Okay. What a total cock tease. Less cock tease, more to complete straight punch the dick without any sort of hesitation. Um, or provocation. And that's... I mean, hmm. That was weird, because one of them was abandoned, even just for a split second. And that was just enough for me to pounce on it and wonder, why. what What are you pissed off about now? I mean, it usually has to do with just simply workers. Like, I personally don't run into many issues anymore where they don't get their supplies or their cargo. It's just, it's just mostly we don't have any workers. You know, it's like the fast food restaurant can't operate because it 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 does not have access to uneducated workers which you know in my defense i'm trying my hardest not to have these assholes be educated but it doesn't it doesn't appear to be actually doing anything uh is, is the seawalls here seawalls are here there you go Uh, can I not do a curve here? Do something like that. Too far to the right. What the fuck are you talking about, game? There's just some days, I swear to God. Like that. Oh, wow, this thing is just all over the place. It's just a weird divot, but you know, that's something I'm going to have to live with. Yeah, see, look, no work. Big surprise, or no workers, big surprise. I swear a commercial has a, a, a very high rate of fallibility because it's like, hey, look, we're going to establish a business here. I mean, do I capitalize some of those small business loans that some people are going to end up defaulting on? Like, seriously. They're just opening up businesses like it's nothing and then you're bankrupt. Give me all the money. I'm going to run into a unique problem here because right... That center road has to link up with someone, right? I just don't know who. Still no. That's better. Oh, wow. So it actually fell in between. That's actually appreciable. Could have done it better myself. God, that's a lot of alleys to build. I, I, I will, I will admit, not excited for that. Especially considering I'm an idiot and I can't figure out the distancing here between the two. Abandoned housing again? Oh, commercial. I like how I try to point the screen, but obviously that's not going to help. Oh, is this starting to snow again? God damn it, it just quit snowing. There you go, look at that. It's now reminiscent of here, which also has a couple squashed city blocks. I like how I like how these three deep city blocks held all but one oh, eh, not even two sections. Mostly one section, and then they, they just they get duplicated. So now it's nice to have some sort of actual consistency, I guess. But Anchor District also needs to grow jurisdiction-wise. 
Um, I actually want the roundabout to be under their their auspice. So this plus this. Uh, hey, look, that matches the shape of the uh, brush. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Like, I was just, like, a little busy work like this. There you go. Anchor District. Which, now that I remember, districts are definitely outlined a little weird. But I'm okay with that. Like, Anchor has control of this of this one roundabout. Or, sorry, these three roundabouts. One, two, three. While Ouroboros definitely has control over the utilities, which, obviously, these were not retroactively added in. These utilities... And it's responsible roundabouts. The one, two, three, four is not dealing with this one because originally this roundabout was supposed to be part of Tourist Pocket. But Tourist Pocket did so shitty that I couldn't make it a tourist district. So everything went else to Myrtle. Arcade Land just has, just by nature being there first, got these roundabouts. And Bermuda got all this. Uh, Oblong got that little section. More point. Didn't want Penal Colada to really care or worry about such infrastructure, so I gave it to more point, which barely has a, a real existence anyway. The new Oblong Hills just takes up a lot. Um, admittedly, I don't know who's going to own these major freeways that are going to be shared in between the cities. Because Penal Colada and Oblong Hills are just a prime example of what I plan to have over here. Everything bordered by either railways or freeways, and they're just going to be small like towns. Well... In the case of New Oblong Hills, which is approximately, what, 50% larger? Sorry, twice the size in population of Pinal Colada at about maybe, what, a third of the, or one third bigger? It's, um, yeah. But I, I, I do plan to just have a little bit more modularity in some of the towns over here. Maybe more like Pinal Colada, because Pinal Colada, really quaint. The traffic is not like crippling it is not like I, there's probably been many people before me but if you can literally just section off different areas and have little cities like this dotting around it and crowd as much as possible the low traffic thing will be an issue the only real traffic issue is the freeways which regardless of what my plan is is something that exists even now um let me check this real quick change lane arrows Yeah, so this is going as good as it can get. I should definitely return this back to a six lane because it, it's coming off a six lane, so I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it was a good idea at the time, but obviously good ideas are never good ideas in hindsight. Um, well, in in hindsight's 2020, so let's see. So how's this turnaround? So now it's just workers using the U-turn, which I can't even I can't even get mad at because I guess that's what it's for. I, I I can't say that with confidence, but maybe that's what it's really for. It's so the people that took the shitty ass wrong turn and who have no chance of turning around, especially with four lanes of fucking traffic, at least they'll be able to get home. And I guess that's just positive thinking. There you go. Grow, my precious. Grow. I like how I have this entire interior ready for commercial. For another stupid commercial spike. But um, it doesn't appear to be coming anytime too soon. I mean, I, I might do another central thing of really tightly packed um, apartments like this. But I'll probably put it on this side. 
towards the end of where anchor like i'm probably going to make this section the end of anchor district right here and then this entire front area will be like bermuda grass or actually of anchor district and like right after here and this will be beachfront property like i won't like i'll probably make a bias where this freeway will go out to about here and then it will just splay across here and no freeways will jut into this beach area but there will be avenues that will be plugging into the into the freeway system as it goes. So there will be like a little square loop that will come here and loop around back to here. There will be probably one that ends in a roundabout right here. Or if not, it will cross the bridge right here and go there. Um, there will be no crossing on this side whatsoever. So it's kind of funny. I always, When I first started this, I thought there there would be a sense of congruity. But at a certain point, that's just not going to be possible given the situational uh modifications to the original design now i'm hoping the mod is just slow because originally the, the auto destruct mod systematically destroyed buildings slowly bit by bit like over time it wasn't op it's like not the moment something gets caught on fire or abandoned it's not gonna destroy it immediately but it will slowly do it over time it's appearing that no matter what it's not working anymore i originally had a a, a framework an underlying framework called aria or whatever it is uh, Overwatch, there you go, Aria Overwatch, that I had in that would that was kind of the base or the foundation of which the auto demolition was working on because the first auto demolition mod I had would not demolish things after a certain uh, update. So I had to get the framework for it. But even now, it's a little spotty. Um, how's the train system going? I did sink a tunnel, but the tunnel isn't really doing shit. Like, it's not going anywhere. It'll probably pop out over here and, and provide support. Like, this train station is fairly, uh... I was gonna say empty, but it's sparse. Bar passengers served last week zero, despite the amount of people there. I almost said enemies. Sorry, I was thinking about other video games. Um, th this is only chock full by virtue of the fact that there is nothing but apartments near it. Um, this one should have a lot of people as well. Because it's like the only one supporting this entire residential block versus this one. And, oh, excuse me, I burped a little. Um, Belmont has a little bit here. But should have a lot more here. Nope. Still fairly sparse. And that's even less. But mostly because it's, it's, it's at a terminus. What is up with the buses going on today? It's kind of nice that over time, the buses start to kind of spread out and they're not as clogged, especially when you first establish a line, which is probably the worst time is at the beginning when the line starts. Um, right now, I'm kind of dicking around because my demand is not going anywhere. And I really hope to God I'm not going to be. I still have like an hour left in my play session and I don't want to be bullshitting for the re for the next hour. I could, but um, I get sick of hearing my own voice and I'm pretty sure everyone else does, too. The buses let's see we go to the buses go to this here we go let's move stuff around 98 trips saved that is amazing uh 21 trips saved and this is the uh this is the inner loop of anchor okay anchor main 30 percent saved okay Anchor North Inner, 14. Not great. 34 for Arcade Land Inner. 35. Belmont. Okay, so the so uh, as far as I remembered, a majority... It's not it's not indicative of it here, but... I mean, the, the second one was a good example. Oh, now it's 21%. Oh, wait, no. 98, yeah. I mean, originally... And it still probably could manifest if just given enough time... But originally, the expressways, the express trains l really did make a difference. Like, they made a, a, a big impact. Well, at least as the stats tell me, if there are anything to go by. All things considered, I mean, of course, the, the wow, 100% of trips saved. I should just go straight to the, to the express ones. Yeah, but a lot of the domestic trains or uh, buses... They don't do much, mostly because cars can still reach their their uh, preferred destination with convenience from their car still. Um, Myrtle Outer. 60% not bad. But 
the buses for like intercity or intra city i guess would be the oh wow this this myrtle bus stop is some of the myrtle stops are actually doing really good work too that is surprising i'm just gonna start spot checking because i literally can't be bothered to go through all of them um yeah so a lot of the expressways are still doing good myrtle is doing a surprisingly well job considering it's also come uh being synergized with uh trams and the fact of the matter is look the traffic speaks for itself despite being a heavily commercialized area the most prolific thing that exists on the streets in myrtle is the buses and possibly trams but i can't even find them like where the hell is the tram is the tram budget low Oh, there it is. Thanks for reminding me, Brain. How's the tram budget? Tram budget is still a piece of shit. I like how the bus budget low too, but that's um. There you go. I have the bus budget low for nights, which less people are meant to travel around at nights, despite the uh. Wow, look at this steady line coming out. I'm just gonna watch this for a bit and wait for the uh, RCI to react or to adjust. But, um, yeah, it's like, even though leisure does exist in the, in the game or in my city, I just saved that for that stuff for the, for the night. But wow, this is just crazy. They're just piling out green by green. So that's probably just fun just to crank it all the way up just to see what would happen. Like how many would just start streaming out. God, wasn't it actually SimCity that... Like SimCity, even 2013, you can click on the gar on the bulldozer and it'll just uh, quick snap to the nearest thing that needed to be destroyed, which is nice. This one doesn't give a shit. You're just shit out of luck. Um, I really wish stuff would happen, but they're uh, they're not. I'm getting a slow uh, office boost. Well, since stuff is going really painfully slow, I guess I could just you, I could just really take the time to um, do the infrastructure I'm not willing to do <laughs> under normal circumstances. It makes for it makes for relatively boring content, I guess, because I don't feel like I'm making actual progress. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a thing that has to be done regardless of my choice. So I guess I can start expanding the double deck all the way to the edge of the map. Um, I can start reviewing whether or not I want to, uh, how deep before I want to make the cross freeway. Um, how, if I want to make another freeway jut out through here or here, and how I want to deal with this. And also on ramps and off ramps along this entire strip that is bordered by the railway. Because the railway is meant to be the defining line that it wouldn't really continue further to that side. At least not until another damn four lane or sorry, eight lane double decker, eight lanes total, four lanes going uh, northbound four lanes going southbound don't know when i'm gonna build another one of those which that in itself is a pain in the ass so i'm just gonna start with the simple stuff and by simple i mean still pain in the ass i'm gonna expand this out over here but you know everything's still going fine relatively speaking everything's going fine i mean the city is definitely looking a lot better than my original city that i first started out I mean, it hasn't it hasn't looked hasn't looked any better. Maybe when there wasn't snow on it. I'm I'm confident that people are going to be sick and tired of the snow, and mostly because with the encoding, the snow is just murdering my ability to uh to probably have a good render. Damn, just damn. But I mean, at the very least, it's still quite it's still pretty to look at. I mean, look at that. The double the double decker bridge, a bastion of hope, right? No, not really. Still a supreme pain in the ass. But it's still a cool concept. It's like Chicago or LA. Or Detroit? I don't know. I I, I don't get out much.